Giants. And we're just three days away now from the Jaguars kicking off against the New York Giants in the first preseason game of the year. And here at Action News, we're all teal all week, but we want to know if you are. Our Tracy.com is live at Everbank Field this morning with the host of Courts and Sports Radio Show to find out what fans have to say about it. You're definitely is, all teal. Is, we can't miss you out there. <laughs> That is right. It's John Phillips. We know him well on our show. You can hear him every Thursday at 6 p.m. on Sports Radio 930. Mojo No Show. Big talker on the radio. Yeah, absolutely. It is. It's, uh, you know, Rashad's trying to take his job. We love Rashad Jennings. We do love Rashad Jennings. <laughs> well, what are the fans saying? They're saying he needs to show up. You know, they don't get to hold out. Mike Bars doesn't get to hold out. <laughs> so why not? Why, why can why can Mojo do it? And well, so it's trying to get him in. What's well, funny because Mike Bars is actually holding out this week. <laughs> oh, come on, Mike. What are you doing? He and Mojo are hanging out. They probably are. They're playing PlayStation. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out what is happening. We are live at Everbank Field all morning long. Go Jags. Back to you guys. Well, the Jaguars and their fans this morning are waking up, and they're saying, finally. Mm -hmm. One of their two big holdouts will finally join the team at camp. One of two. Wide receiver Justin Blackman will end his standoff with the team after 12 days. The team's first round draft pick was, has just signed a four-year $18.5 million deal with the Jaguars. Blackman is reporting to camp after quite the summer. He pleaded guilty to DUI in Oklahoma when he was pulled over for speeding down the wrong side of the street. Authorities say his blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. Well, we are just three days now away from the Jaguars kicking off against the New York Giants. That's right. Justin Blackman now is getting his jersey ready. He's mm -hmm. putting it on, so it's time to start thinking about what to wear to the game. Our Tracy.com is live at Everbank Field this morning with the latest on the big cat fashion. Right, Tracy? So you're literally on the fashion. catwalk, Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> the big catwalk. Fashion show, fashion show. Yes, we are joined today with sports mania manager Jeff Fingland. I love this look. Isn't that great? That's one of the brand new pieces from Nike. We're real excited about all the new stuff coming in. Well, one of the big things that uh, we need to talk about, because y when I got here, I was wearing my Blaine Gabbert jersey from last season, and you're like, oh, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we, we've established for the latest and greatest, as you're the official sports media model. I love that. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Okay, um, I noticed from last season when I got the white jersey that the cut is just gorgeous on women this year. Absolutely. All of Nike's products are cut much better. The fit of the apparel is much better this year. The construction's better. It's just all around a much better quality product, and the styling and the fashion level is, is really upgraded this all year. All right. Well, John Phillips is our official male model today, and uh, this would be the men's jersey, and I love it. Just got some of the black jerseys in, which, you know, have been reintroduced for the first time in several years for the Jags to wear this year. And we just got our first shipments of the black in just a couple of days ago. So we've got good stock right now. Well, I love the visors, too. Very girly. Um, and this is one I got when I was at your store last time. And you notice this thumbprint right here, Jeff? That will tend to happen you on white. You know, who, you know who did that? can't imagine. Our photographer, Chris Mills. That's oh, right. Thank you, you, Chris. I need you to wash my visor. All right. <laughs> well, we got a lot more fashion, and we're going to be talking to John also about uh, he is the host of Courts and Sports. We're going to find out what the fans are saying this season. Back to you guys. Here at Action News, we're all teal all week, but we want to know if you are. Our Tracy.com is live at Everbank Field with the host of Courts and Sports Radio Show to find out what the fans are saying, and I'm hearing from the fans, they are ready for, for football, and they're all in, Tracy. Well, I know I'm all in, and I know you're all in, so they all should be all in. That's right. We, at 6 p.m. on Thursdays, you can hear him on Sports Radio 930. It's John Phillips. We want to know about Blackman. How excited are the fans that Blackman finally signed? He's back yesterday, uh, signed for four years, $18.5 million. He's, he's two-time Bolitnikoff winner, is, is about to be back on the field. And what's the feedback you're getting on that? Everybody's excited. You know, a lot of people have a little resentment that he, he they feel like he got off with a slap on the wrist, but he's put it behind me. He's a ball player. He's not a uh, church leader. Well, for fans who don't know, what is the process now? Because it's my understanding he won't play on Friday. He won't play on Friday. There's He's got to be proven to be physically ready to perform, and the NFLPA generally holds them out through about four practices. All right, we're going to be talking about more of that on, in the next hour, including Mojo. Well, here we are. It is preseason football now. Friday night, we're just three days away from the Jags kicking off against the Giants. So all week, we're all teal. That's right, but if... We want to know whether you are all teal. Tracy Collins is live at Everbank Field with the host of Courts and Sports Radio Show to find out what all the fans are saying. They got to be excited, Tracy, that Justin Blackman's coming today. 
They are super excited about that, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But Mojo as a no-show, of course, is the big talker. So joining us this morning is John Phillips, the host of Courts and Sports. We got to know, John, and we got a picture to prove it. Is your son still a Maurice Jones Drew fan? No, we need to switch the 32 to 23 for Rashad Jennings. <laughs> I just got a text from Rashad. He said, headed into treatment and practice, got to work. So that's 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 where the status of our running backs are. Now, Rashad, is is he still your co-host on Courts and Sports? He's, he's mainly in the offseason. He's just too busy to do it during the season, but we're going to have some 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 of him out in the community during the season. It's okay, going to be perfect. Fantastic. And you moved on to Thursdays at 6 p.m. Good drive time on Sports Radio 930. Are you excited about this change? Very excited. We were we were tucked away Sunday mornings, and we're still going to have a replay Sunday mornings. But 6 p.m. drive time on Sports Radio 930 is a great spot. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about Maurice Jones Drew because Rashad Jennings told me when they came in for their first day of training camp that it's it's business. It's all about business, and the players understand. But is that really true behind the scenes? It is. Yeah. You know. For whatever reason, Mojo's agent has decided to hold out. Uh, it's not a very popular decision. Rashad even terminated that agent. Uh, they had the same agent, but they don't anymore. It, it's business, and Mojo wants to be paid for what he for what he did last year. Okay, well, we'll talk a little bit about more about that in the next hour, and also about Blackman and what the fans are saying about Blackman. I'm Tracy.com, live at Everbank Field, all morning long for Action News.